Hello everyone, praise the Lord. Very good morning. I'm happy that God has brought us together to meditate this word today. Hello everyone, praise the Lord, very good morning, very happy that God has brought us together to meditate His word. May God speak to us even in this morning as you meditate His wonderful word through the spiritual breakfast session. Surely God will be glorified as you meditate His word. Today's meditation is from the book of Romans chapter 6 verse 14. We will meditate on the verse, verse 15 as well. For sin shall no longer be your master because you are not under the law but under grace. So in 15 verse he says, What then shall we sin because we are not under the law but under grace? By no means. In other words, no way. There are so many people who say that as we read in verse 14, they say that, Oh, uh, we are in the period of grace. We are in the time of grace of God ruling over la- our life. So uh, if I go to God and submit myself and say that, Lord, Forgive all my sins and he will forgive my sins. So it is done. It is finished. So I don't need to worry about this. I don't need to say that. Oh, um, I don't, I'm not under the law of Moses. So uh, if I disobey that, I'm going to be punished severely. And uh, I will have to sacrifice. I will have to do all these rituals. And the people, they continue to sin. So, my dear brothers and sisters, here Bible is very clear. Yes, we are at the time of grace. We are under the period of grace. Yes, when we come to God and uh, submit ourselves unto Him and say that, Lord, forgive my sins and He will forgive. Yes, it is true. But that doesn't mean that I can continuously sin uh, under God. Bible says, by no means we can do that. In no way we can do that. Bible never encourages sin. So my dear brothers and sisters, Bible is very clear that if you do commit sin knowingly, the punishment is going to be very severe. So after, even after knowing that Jesus Christ's blood will forgive my sins and these are the sins and continue to sin, uh, thinking that when I come to God and forgive, ask for forgiveness, He will forgive. The consequences of the sins is going to be very severe. So my dear brothers and sisters, let keep that in, your, in our mind that we shall never sin against God. Amen.